Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We've kind of had some ups and downs in the last couple of runs. Last one really did not go well with Eve, which was unfortunate. Um, dig in the hard mode attempts, though. But at the same time, maybe do want to make some progress and get back to trying to beat Satan with everybody? I don't know. Um, let's do hard mode with Blue Baby. That seems like a really dumb idea, but... Oh, you know, give me a second to get comfortable here. Ah, there we go. Should have done that before I started recording. So, Blue Baby, very unusual character. Doesn't have any actual, like, real health. Uh, oh my gosh, off to a horrible start. Also not allowed to get real health. So any HP ups we get in this game will only give us a soul heart instead of an actual red HP heart. Uh, we also start with the poop, which is kind of a useless item. We get one of the Zodiac symbols right away. I don't, <laughs> I don't know them well enough to identify most of them by sight. Capricorn, all stats up. See, and then all stats would include a uh, health upgrade. But we got a soul heart instead. Also, let's look at the seed. Eh. Damage is decent now, though. Interesting to know that apparently that red toxic poop there? Yeah, it hurts enemies, too. That's weird. That is not something I knew, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, Blue Baby. Really weird character. HP upgrades are far less important with this character than they are with other characters, because he doesn't get the tangible benefit of having more health. Like, I would rather have something that boosts my rate of acquiring soul hearts or black hearts, rather than getting, like, the breakfast or something that actually would just give me a single soul heart one time only. So, yeah, Interesting character. Check out the rest of these rooms before we carry on. Um, I believe, though, because we don't have any red heart containers, we don't have any like red heart health to worry about. I think that means it's going to be a lot easier, oh doctor, to uh, make deals with the devil, because we we won't have like that's just one of the uh, deal with the devil criteria or influencers or however it works that uh, we just don't ever really need to worry about with this character. We will never lose red heart health against the boss of a Valor. Two clubs will double our bombs or give me two bombs if I don't have any. So to maximize my bomb gain from using this card, um, if I use it right now, ooh, ace of spades, awesome. If I, if I use the two clubs right now, we will get a single extra bomb. If I use my bomb first, like so, and then use the two clubs. We will uh, we will gain two bombs from it. Uh, and right now I'm back to only being able to gain a single bomb. Uh, if that makes any sense, I don't know if it does. It's been a long day, long week. Uh, we'll check one spot for the secret room. Hmm, what do you know? Three cents, not spectacular. I'm going to hold on to the two of clubs until we find something else to replace it. At which point I will just use the two of clubs. Or if I find like a hidden cache of bombs or something. Like if we get a whole bunch of bombs, then yeah, I'll double it then instead of only getting two bombs now. Basically, I want to maximize my use of this thing. I will also go ahead and just use it like on the next floor if we find a tinted rock or something and I just need to have bombs. All right. Monstro, pretty easy boss. I'm going to deal with the little hopper there, actually, just because he was kind of freaking me out, bouncing around over there doing his thing. Don't want to accidentally dodge into him or something stupid like that. Ace of Spades, don't know if I mentioned what it does. Uh, actually, I know that I did not mention what it does. Um, it causes us to have a higher... A higher chance of getting tarot cards or or any of the cards, you know, two twos of whatever suits the Joker, 
card against humanity, credit card, those sorts of things. Uh, much higher drop rate for those things. When other items, like whenever we earn drops, we have a good chance of getting those. So pretty fantastic, actually. It, like it's, it is probably one of my favorite trinkets in the game, uh, or at least one of my favorite trinkets in the vanilla Binding of Isaac. I am quite certain I have not yet seen all of the trinkets in Rebirth here. Okay, room full of elite enemies. Is that gray one going to explode when it dies? No? Okay. I was kind of expecting it to. We have one key. I can use that to get into the item room. I would love to... Well, I guess I don't really care about getting into the shop just yet, because we don't have enough cash for it to really be guaranteed to be worth our while. And item drops in general are just fairly tough to come by in hard mode. So there's a tinted rock in the right, bottom right corner there. So I will very, very likely be using my two of clubs to get bombs in order to get that tinted rock. But we'll play out the rest of the level first and see if that becomes necessary. Our damage is not phenomenal right now, but for being this early in the game, I'm kind of satisfied with it. Don't like this at all. Dang it. And then immediately scratch what I said about being okay with our damage, because that took way longer than it should have. Uh, again, gonna use a bomb here, get that tinted rock. Ooh, and we got a... Got a rune. I got a bomb from that enemy, that's... Good, I suppose. Really just trying not to take damage. That's my number one priority right here. Gotta be careful not to get too greedy. <laughs> and then I immediately take damage. Oh, hey, this run. All right, so what is our rune? Vision. I think gives us just a view of like, I think it's basically the uh, map effect. Well, it could also be, it could be map and also like compass, blue map, I have no idea. Um, we'll get that tinted rock right now. We found the boss, ah, uh, dang it. Um, I would love to get our item room, there it is. This enemy might explode, yeah, there it is. Cool, got another key. That's actually quite fantastic. Check out our item, Brother Bobby. Not great, just a familiar who shoots. Not awful, but kind of the least impressive of the familiars. And that's saying something because most of the impress of the familiars, at least the ones that were in the original game, not that impressive. Uh, we have Super Envy here. Super Envy splits into three instead of only two at each stage, just like that. Otherwise, pretty simple, self-explanatory boss. Not that big of a deal. And maybe it's not at each stage. Maybe it's only at that first stage. Yeah, maybe it's only at that first stage. I guess I'm okay with that. I was expecting it to happen at each stage. So I, I'm kind of confused. Also, maybe a bad idea to break that one. Really got to be careful not to get overwhelmed here, especially since I don't have a very good way of reliably recovering HP. Yeah, okay, so that one's split into three. Mm. Yeah, that's why you don't do exactly what I just did. Because this happens. Oh. Well... The run's going okay so far, although I have taken a lot of really dumb, easily avoidable damage. 
but honestly, I mean, I do that every time I play this game, so that's nothing new. All right, last couple of little envy bits. <laughs> and shoop to whoop. I'm not a huge fan of shoop to whoop, but it is probably better than the poop. So we'll take it. Shoop to whoop just lets us shoot, shoot a laser, and it charges once every other room. Um. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to the key. I'm going to use the two clubs now, and we'll take the rune with us, and we'll use the rune on the next one and get vision of the whole thing. Shoop to whoop. There we go. Damage isn't great, but it is a more or less infinite range laser beam that we can use every now and then, so... Like I said, not awful. Plenty of other things I'd rather have instead, but you know what? The poop is not on that list. Okay, we get another card, and <laughs> we get a Joker card. Uh, okay, well, let's go see what the devil has for us. Unfortunately, because the blue baby does not get regular heart containers, uh, all of the deals with the devil are going to be for three soul hearts, which is a lot. So I'm not going to take that, which is unfortunate. Um, let's use our vision rune. Yeah, so it causes... Oh, it causes both secret rooms to show up. That's actually kind of cool. I do have two bombs. Let's go ahead and use them both here. We'll come back for that. On our, We'll grab it on our way out. I don't want to risk losing it. Although, because we have all soul hearts, I don't think that's an issue. Raw liver, HP up. So, two HP ups instead of only one, or it gave us two hearts instead of only one. Really, really absolutely fantastic. You know, if you get it with a normal character. Could use the Joker and go get that fear shot. I'm going to pass. We're going to go see what, uh, hopefully get the angel room on the next floor down and see if we can get anything better there. Eternal Heart, again, no actual heart container. We just get a uh, boring old soul heart. Love to get that dime. I would really love that. Uh, let's just use the Joker right away. Another Devil Room. And a red chest that teleports us to the Devil Room. Cuppy's head. And spiders. Uh, I think I like Guppy's head more than I like Shoop. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll roll with Guppy's head. I am going to avoid becoming Guppy if I can help it. You never know. Sometimes the game literally just hands it to me on a silver platter. But uh, barring what happened in that Doctor Fetus crazy run that I had a couple videos ago, where. We got two red chests that each had a guppy item in them. Um, I mean, if, if something like that happens, you know, like, you can't really avoid it. It's just, yeah, you have to. You have to become guppy. But otherwise, I'm, I'm going to avoid picking up any more guppy items, because I... Eh, I don't know. I find it to be not terribly interesting when I become the overpowered, flying, fly-spawning murder machine that is guppy. Guppy's head, by the way, uh, spawns a handful, like a, a kind of randomized number of attack flies, and we can it recharges every room. So for each room that we clear out, we get another use of Guppy's head, which is fantastic. Um, and it, it spawns something like from like three to five flies, I think, two to five, maybe one to five, something. It, it spawns a couple, so. It's pretty awesome. And we got Super Wrath. Boy, we, uh... We're getting a ton of these super mini-bosses. And by ton, I mean two. Which is a ton, because I don't usually see them that often. Really interesting. Super Wrath, though. Maybe a little bit more aggressive than regular Wrath. 
And he does the super troll bombs, which home in on me, rather than regular bombs, like regular Wrath. But, I mean, he's still a pushover. Check out the little arena here. Yeah, I'm gonna use a bomb. Check it out. Bob's Rotten Head, interesting. Bob Ro Bob's Rotten Head is a uh, reusable bomb item. And it does poison damage when it explodes. It's decent. I mean, we could take it and go use it to, like, check for the secret room or something. Or we could have if I hadn't just wasted the shot with it right there. I don't know. I'm going to stick with Guppy's head, though. That's way more useful in augmenting my attack damage consistently. Because we're going to use it every single room. Quick check for tinted rocks. Doesn't look like there are any. Free penny and a bomb, don't mind if I do. Ooh. I do always like this room. It's it's almost like a puzzle room because you can shoot the TNT and stuff. I, I think that's fun. I've always enjoyed that room. All right, a whole bunch of these things, kind of scary. Would love to get that key. And that, keys are enough of a rarity in hard mode. I think this is worth using a bomb to get those. Those, that, it, to get it, that one key that I got. Mm -hmm. Could go into the shop. Don't think it's terribly worthwhile because we only have nine cents. We could get something like if it were on sale or maybe buy a soul heart, you know, something along those lines. Apparently, this is just going to be a familiar-based run. So Harlequin Baby there shoots the uh, the double red shot that shoots in a V shape. So we now have kind of a almost like a spread shot thing going on with my two familiars here. Okay, and now it is suddenly very worthwhile to go check out the shop because we have that golden key, which means we can get in there completely for free. Uh, buying the red heart is completely pointless. Don't have enough to buy mom's coin purse, which just gives a bunch of pills. Don't want to buy the pill because pills may or may not be good. So we'll buy that and we'll donate a couple cents to the machine here. We'll hit 175. That's a decent stopping point. Hold on to these last two cents because it's always good to get money in this game. Um... Mm -hmm. You know what? Speaking of getting money, I just remembered there was a dime back here, and we could use one of our bombs to get it. Which I think might be worthwhile. Which is why I'm doing it. We could also just take damage and get the other two cents. That would give us 15. That would give us enough to buy Mom's coin purse. Don't think I want Mom's coin purse, but there's a chance... We could buy something a bit more useful for us in one of the later floors. But maybe I'll also like to have that tarot card, but we have no way of getting to it. Which is okay. Polycephalus! Kind of don't like this boss. It's one of the new ones. He's kind of a jerk because he uh, tunnels underground like that. which can make him a bit tricky just to to track. All right, well, took a hit. Not too happy about that. Got the toothpicks, though. Pretty good item. Massive increase to shot speed and the number of tiers per second that we can fire. So I dig it. Uh, yeah, then let's head on out of here. Ah, another interesting benefit to being the blue baby. 
since we have one or fewer red hearts, by which I mean we have none, we can get into the boss trap room. Boss challenge, boss arena, whatever you want to call it. We can get in here, we can fight Chubb. And then probably Larry Jr. after Chubb. The chest only contained a pill. I think these are still definitely worth the gamble, getting into these um, boss arenas and also the regular arenas. Pretty much as frequently as you can, uh, on hard mode at least. Because drops are so much rarer on hard mode that you're, you're guaranteed to get something. Right? There will always be an item or a treasure chest, or sometimes multiple treasure chests. And, I, like, it's it's a guarantee that you're going to get something. It's kind of up in the air as to what you're going to get, but getting something is better than nothing. Granted, that could backfire, because if it's, like, a red chest, or a couple of red chests only, then, yeah, you're probably going to get garbage. Spiders that are going to attack you, or, uh... The troll bomb, something along those lines, but still, red chests I think are still definitely worth the gamble. Okay, peep went down quickly enough. Maybe not as quickly as I would have liked, but I'm still more than okay with how that went. Not a bad room. We got a second key, which means we will be able to visit the shop. Which is exciting. Ooh. Would still like to get two more cents before we go into the shop, but that's okay. Shouldn't be too difficult to come by. All right, we're gonna just reset that room. There we go. Item room, Cricket's body. Interesting. Splash damage and tears up. So, pretty awesome. When our tears land, they do that little kind of random direction, randomish distance AoE splash effect, which I think is really, really awesome. It's a really neat upgrade. Ooh, dangerous. We also got a soul heart from the fire there, which is good because I have not been picking up too many of those on this run. We're just going to go back in here. Timing seems to work out better that way. Uh, let's go left. Uh, let's go up and then left. Don't like this room at all. Yeah, so between Cricket's body and then the two familiars that kind of lag behind me and the fact that one of them is Harlequin Baby who shoots at a V-shape, we have some pretty hefty area of effect. Uh, yeah, we'll go in here. Baggy for pills. Not super keen on that. Battery is kind of useless because Guppy's head charges every room anyway. I will buy the soul heart. And we will carry on. Really glad I didn't take stupid damage there. We're at the boss, let's go fight the boss now, and then we'll come back and explore the rest of the floor. Mega Fatty, pretty easy boss, except for when he does that. <laughs> that super quick jump is like the only actual dangerous attack that he has. And I get hit by it like almost every freaking time. Because he doesn't do it every time. Like, sometimes his jumps, he's in the air for a little while. Other times he drops down immediately. Cool. Shot speed up and damage up. So our shots are going pretty quickly and we're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, look how massive those tears are. This is cool, I'm digging it. And then we got an angel room, which is also awesome. Guardian Angel, first time we've seen it in this game, I believe. Uh, it's an orbital like Cube of Meat or uh, Pretty Fly. Or I think there was like a fat fly that we got once. And I, oh, Bandage Girl, the uh, ball of bandages. 
Except Guardian Angel, the effect is everything that's orbiting you at that range orbits you twice as quickly. So kind of gives it a higher probability of blocking shots and doing damage because it's just moving so quick. Which is pretty cool. I do enjoy it. I think it's a pretty good item. And it's also our first orbital, so we now have something, finally, that will give me a chance to block incoming shots and let me do damage if I want to get right up close and, like, hug an enemy, but, I mean, our damage output is fantastic right now. So I don't think that's really a concern. We've got bombs, that's pretty fantastic. Don't want to go into the curse room. Let's check out the arcade. Which has a blood bank that I'm just going to blow up right away with one of my bombs more or less what I was hoping for. I will play you once. Haha, <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, this is awesome. So we can now be guaranteed to unlock something on the next floor, either the item room or the shop. Hopefully we'll get another key so that we can visit both, and then I have 15 cents so that we can buy something worthwhile from the shop, if there is something worthwhile. Still hopeful. Oh, dang it. That's a very chaotic room. Holy moly. Okay, um, mostly done. I don't think it's worth losing a soul heart to the um, curse room. And then there are so many different options for the secret rooms could be that I'm not gonna bother hunting for those either. That, let's carry on. Head down to the depths, I believe. Or the freaking necropolis. Massive damage, pretty good knockback just from like the sheer number of tears and things that we're shooting out. Pretty awesome. I'm digging it. I'm liking this run so far. Bony skeleton guys, I don't like you. Although again, tying pretty quickly, which is awesome. Don't like these things. Don't know what they are. Don't like them. They're terrifying. The moon teleports us to secret room or something. Hematomesis. Pointless, because we don't actually have any red health. Red heart health. This room is scary. Boy, it's like really bullet hellish just with the sheer number of tears and projectiles and splashes and things going on on the screen here. I hate these enemies. Luckily, we have enough damage that they were surprisingly easy to deal with. Could use a bomb and get to the battery. Don't really think it's worth it. If we had an item that was much more difficult to charge, something that took like a full six rooms or something like that, yeah, it'd be worthwhile to get those batteries, charge it, get to use the item more frequently, but I mean, we use... Oh boy. Um, we use Guppy's head so frequently, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, kind of a scary room. I These enemies are... scary. Health down! Well, we lost a soul heart. Not that big of a deal. Hello. The moon, I think, teleports us... To, I mean, it's either the item room or the secret room. One of those two things. I forget which is which. I always will forget which is which. Just not a thing that my brain is going to be able to remember for whatever reason. Um, I'll probably use it here. It'll save us a bomb or a key, depending on which of the rooms it lets us into. Yeah, let's just go for it. Secret room, okay. Well, you're gonna give us a free use of Guppy's head, so that's 
fine. I'm okay with that. I'm really enjoying how much damage we're dishing out here. I think it's fantastic. Alright, another key. That's exciting. <laughs> well, and then that will solve our bomb problem. I'm going to use the two bombs that I have now. I'm just going to maybe min-max the level a little bit. Making progress towards it. <laughs> and now we get the golden key so we can unlock all chests on this floor for free. That is the second time in this run that I have gotten that item after already unlocking the item room. So... Maybe I should learn a lesson from that. I don't think I'm going to. But maybe I should. So... Remote detonator. It's a decent item, actually. It might be worth purchasing. We fight our boss. Let's fight our boss right now, and then we'll go back and deal with the rest of the room. Adversary kind of sucks just because he has the homing brimstone. That, which is... I don't like. Other than that, he does the stompy thing with the really awesome, like, shockwave effect when he lands. And then um, he turns the room dark every now and then. Our damage is just so insane right now. Oh, and he can spawn spiders. Forgot about that. <laughs> Dog food. So, dessert. HP up. No big deal. Just gives us a soul heart. So we have two bombs. I'm going to check just two random places for one random place I meant for the top secret room. Bunch of mystery pills. Bad trip. That sucks. Minimesis. Useless. Also, Steel gave us two soul hearts and puberty does nothing. So, all in all, we gained a heart out of that situation. Ooh, and we could use a bomb here on the tinted rock. Sure. Tammy's head. I... We're gonna... So out of curiosity, Tammy, Tammy's head causes us to do a tear explosion with our tears in like eight directions or something. And it's it's whatever effects we have. So like if we have the ability to have like the fear-inducing tears, then Tammy's head will shoot out fear-inducing tears as well. I'm curious to know if Tammy's head's tears will also have the splash effect. So we're gonna just give it a, a shot here. It does. Oh my goodness. We are going to stick with Tammy's head instead of Guppy's head for a little while. We've seen Guppy's head a lot. I've gotten it in a good number of my runs. Oh, and also let's go grab all those bombs because we get 99 free bombs. Don't want to forget about you and leave you behind. Pyro, 99 bombs. That's, that's all. That's all it does. And it's pretty fantastic. Our tears are ridiculous right now, by the way. We do so much damage. Whoops. Hang it. That was the wrong... <sighs> I forgot that we didn't have Guppy's head for a second there. I was trying to get my flies before I remembered. Oh yeah, no, I don't, I don't get those anymore. So let's not do that anymore. This is kind of fun. Don't know. Do I still think Guppy's head might be a better item for us? Yes. But we're going to stick with this one anyway. Because it does massive di like area of effect damage. And you know what? That's kind of what this run is all about. Just nuke everything. Giant area around us. The end. Uh, nothing else for us to do, so let's rock and roll, shall we? Last chance. Do I want Guppy's head? I like Guppy's head. We're gonna stick with Tammy's head, though. Ah, yes, remote detonator. Could maybe be useful since I have so many bombs. 
don't know. I'm thinking specifically boss fights where I wouldn't have to worry about timing my bombs. I could just drop them and then use the detonator to deal with timing for me. Alright. Boss challenge room. Loki's the first boss. Loki is a pushover. The only thing that's a bit of a worry is that my tiers look exactly like his tiers. And so I might uh, inadvertently take damage from Loki, just mixing it up with the splash damage of my own tiers. Monster 2. Red, super quick champion edition Monster 2. Not that big of a deal. We fought you so many times before. It, it's just not even a challenge. There should only be two bosses here. We'll do that. Tammy's had insane damage up close like that. Um, there should only be two bosses because we're on uh, we're only on the depths. I think in the womb and beyond we will get three bosses per challenge room. Not here. Awesome. Huh. Very awesome. The moon. Pretty good. Moon teleports us to the secret room because that's when we just <laughs> we got the stars. <sighs> okay, well let's use all three of them. Stars takes us to the item room. The Onk grants us eternal life. When we die, we will come back to life. Interesting because it doesn't really affect the blue baby. Because the eternal life question mark means you don't come back to life exactly the same as how you left it. Uh, you actually get revived as the blue baby with only three soul hearts instead of heart containers and whatnot. Doesn't affect us, like I said, because we are the blue baby. So we will just come back as us. Dang it. But it's an interesting item to have when you're playing as other characters. Or just constant stream of tears is pretty awesome. I am enjoying this. The uh, new versions of Larry Jr. Not that difficult. Going down to my giant splash damage onslaught. Don't like this room. I'm terrified of those laser shooting enemies. Okay, back to our boss room. We will use next... Uh, sure, let's use the Hermit. Teleports us into the shop. Buy the boss key. I don't actually know what that does. So let's do that. And then let's donate a bunch of our cash. Alright, 182. We're making decent progress on the cash machine there. Sure. Worth using two bombs, I think. Considering I have a million of them, and then we get one of them back. Ooh, abundance. Oh, yes. Abundance doubles, or it spawns another exact copy of every item that's in the room where you use it. Really, really interesting item. I wonder if it would affect, like, item items. That might be my next experiment. Uh, use one penny to get into the arcade and see if we get anything here. A key. Really? Oh, we didn't even get that. I was curious. You never know. There might be something good in there. Or there might have been something good in there. Okay, one more. We'll use the moon. Teleport us to the secret room. I can go back and gamble some more now, if I feel like doing that. Uh, we'll use a bomb to get out of here. Also kill that guy. I was hoping that he would drop something. He did not. And then we'll pick up our Jera rune. Be good with that for the time being. Uh, let's go down. Giant poop monster. It's 
surprised I didn't take damage there. Pretty satisfied with that, though. Don't like these things. Don't mind it when they just kind of glitch out in the corner and hug like that, though. It's really all they need to do. Skeleton bros, just hug it out. Just gonna <laughs> pop to Emmy's head and deal with all of the Lara Juniors. Oh, sure, we'll shoot the poop. Yeah, I think it's time for the mom fight. Oops. Gonna hold on to the Jera rune here. I don't... I don't know when it might be worthwhile to use. Maybe if we get, like, a room with some good pills or something? I don't know. Also, we have bombs. Let's check before I go head towards the boss. Let's check for the top secret room. Which could maybe be here. Could maybe be up here off of any of these sides. Um, don't think it's going to be off that room below us. Yeah. Could maybe be over by where the boss is. You know what? Six cents, let's gamble it away. Jerk. Blow everything up here. The push pin is interesting. Um, every now and then we'll shoot, yeah, one of those ghostly triangle tears that will pierce through anything. I don't think it's super worth it. We'll stick with the Ace of Spades. It's an interesting item, but it's too random and infrequent for my tastes. And the Ace of Spades has a very, very tangible impact. Considering how many tarot cards we've seen on this run, I think it's definitely uh, paid for itself in spades. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And we're just on hunt for the secret room mode. Ooh, ooh, devil room. This is a deal worth taking for sure. Spirit of the night. We are now scary. Oh, scary. Uh, we now fly and we have spectral tears. So our tears can go over like rocks and things and like through the wall, apparently. I don't think we missed out on any items back yonder, but this item is so good. This is like one of my favorite items in the game, to be honest. I love, love, love Spirit of the Night. It's so good. It's, I mean, like Transcendence, you know, the new stability to fly, the pony, anything that lets us fly, eh, good. I like them. I really do like being able to fly. Being able to fly and having the Spectral Tears, just like an unbelievably amazing combo. Got a soul heart there for mom. Come on. There we go. So we're going to try something here. I'm going to use my Jera rune and we're going to see if it does anything to the, the photograph item, if we get another item. Um, it should at least double the soul heart, so we'll get two instead of only one. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to do anything there with the negative, but it's worth a shot. Oh, look, what a familiar looking room. Um, yeah, let's carry on. So, womb. Everything in here does an extra heart of damage. And not an extra heart. Does a full heart of damage instead of only a half heart. 
but we have Spirit of the Night, and our damage is kind of crazy right now. So I feel okay about that. Don't mind using Tammy's head to help clear out the room. These leeches are ooh, scary, especially when I knock myself into them. And that made the Necronomicon effect sound. I didn't have any black hearts, so I don't know if that's like a new added effect of Spirit of the Night. I don't know if it's just making that sound or if it's actually doing anything for us. It'll be worth paying attention to as I inevitably take more hits. Dang it. Okay. Woohoo. Thought I was going to take damage there. Thought I did take damage there. Hence the preemptive dang it. Um, so this is not actually a boss challenge room. Not a boss arena. This is just a regular arena. So our three waves are all going to be bosses because we're in the womb. And the game just likes throwing that sort of crap at us. However, none of the bosses that can show up here are very difficult. Ooh, double monstro. Ooh, look at me, I'm double monstro. Yeah, don't don't care. Maybe you need to not be an idiot. Don't want to take stupid damage, especially the monstro. <laughs> and we get a penny. Not bad. Um also forgot to mention this, although I do say it every time we come into the womb, but there are no item rooms. Oh, balls of steel, so good. Yeah, I'll use that now. Um, there are no item rooms, there are no shops, so there is absolutely no reason to go out of our way to explore in the womb. Honestly, the rooms are ooh, ooh, probably more dangerous. Like, you, I think... They're not probably more dangerous. The rooms in here are definitely more dangerous than other levels in the game. At least all the levels prior to the womb. You know what? Tammy's head. Eat my giant spectral splash damage tears. Um, not worth exploring because I'm far more likely to take damage than I am to recover any health. So I just want to find the boss fight room and get out of here as quickly as we possibly can. All while avoiding damage as much as possible. So that should kind of go without saying, I think. Oh yeah, sure. I'll fly over here and give you my money. Please give me something good. Okay, that's not bad. Mom's coin per- Ooh. Mom's coin purse spawns a bunch of random pills. Health down, not good. Also, we apparently unlocked Mom's contact, which is awesome. And more range. Which is not exactly something we needed for my tears, but I won't say no to any stat upgrades. Erglings! First time we've encountered you in this run. Not that difficult since I can fly and since I shoot crazy tears. Okay, so we definitely have a Necronomicon effect. I think that's probably an effect of Spirit of the Night, which is new and awesome. Oh, dang it. We have a champion Skull X, it looks like. I don't think I've ever fought a champion Skull X, ever, in general. Does this mean you're not gonna... Oh, I... He might just not be popping his tail up for us to take an easy pot shot at him. In which case, that sucks. Oh, there it is. Skull X, we can only damage the uh, last little blinky star-shaped bit that's on the end of his tail. Otherwise, he's basically pinned. Just slightly more of a nuisance to fight. He's just really not a hard boss. Just a tedious boss. Awesome. Easy peasy. Latch key gives us two keys and luck up. And down to the next floor. So on this floor, we will be fighting It Lives at the end.
which is oh good, and I don't have a a map. That's exciting. Um, it's just a advanced version of Mom's Heart. I don't even know if I can call it harder. Honestly, I think it lives might be easier than fighting Mom's Heart. I don't think I've had as much trouble with it, at any rate. Tammy's head. Fantastic item. Really glad that I stuck with this. It's a great item. Especially since it now has the spectral tier effect that our Spirit of the Night gave us. So I can shoot Tammy's head and it'll let go of rocks and things. And that is beautiful. More bombs. White Brain has a ton of HP. Oh, you dropped an Eternal Heart. Sure. It'll give us a free Soul Heart. Yeah, so that's an interesting benefit. Or, well, detriment because it's maybe not as worthwhile. But because it's um, Soul Hearts, we don't lose the Eternal Heart right away. Like, we, have to, we would have to get hit and lose the half of the heart that it is white. Which is our very, very first heart container. So I'd basically have to lose all of my health. I mean, at this rate, since we're in the womb and everything does one full damage, I would actually have to lose all of my health before we lose that eternal heart. So, no point not to just pick it up now and carry on. Okay. So, gonna kill all of these things. And then we'll deal with that doppelganger in a moment here. Like that. Really not that big of a threat when you can fly. Which applies to a lot of things in this game. Not that big of a threat when you can fly, especially rooms like this. Feeling really good about this run. Like, I don't know if we can... Oh, dang it. Um, don't know if we can... Take out, like, Isaac or anything crazy like that. Feel reasonably confident in my ability to deal with Satan. Wish I would have paid attention to whether I needed a Satan kill or an Isaac kill on this character. I think I need both with Blue Baby. Fairly certain I need both. Oh, dang it. I was trying to be clever and use my Guardian Angel. Don't, don't be clever in these rooms. Just play it conservative. Don't try to show off. Don't do anything fancy. Just murder everything as quickly as you can and get out in one piece. Advice is as much for my own benefit as it is for yours. And don't be afraid of using Tammy's head in every single room because you get it back at the end of every room. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tammy's head. It lives! Just pop that right away. Very bullet hell, especially when it starts doing this sort of thing with its tears. But with our damage... Oh, going the wrong way for that. With our damage and our splash... Baby, that's awesome. Uh, just with everything we had going for us, that worked out well. Um... Crap. This is when we get the tough choice. And the deal with the devil, by the way, is just like, oh, hey, you can go downstairs to Shoal. We're gonna go to the cathedral. We're gonna give it a shot. I don't feel very confident at all. I really, really don't. But we'll give it a shot. See if we can get another Isaac kill under our belts. Oh, we got a heart back from the Eternal Heart. Awesome. So welcome to the cathedral. It has a lot of boss and mini boss enemies that are in greater quantities and don't drop the boss items that you would maybe hope for or expect otherwise. Hence the double sloth room. But we did get a tarot card. Strength. Actually, that's a really good one. A chest, which also has the magician. Magician might be good. We'll uh, we'll save it and use it on one of these rooms. I I suspect we're going to be in for some fairly tough rooms, like a double gluttony room. So homing ghostly splash tears that do massive damage and have crazy range. 
I think the speed is negating the homing effect, to be perfectly honest. Unless I did something stupid like used strength instead of using the magician. But I think we had the magician. Yeah, kind of a useless room. Let's grab that other tarot card. Whoa, dang it. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Strength gives us a damage boost. Our damage is actually not maxed out, which kind of surprises me. But, uh... Damage boost, and I think it'll give us, like, a temporary heart for the room where we use it. Like, a, a, it'd be a red heart container that would go away when you leave the room. I think with Blue Baby, at least in the original game, in vanilla Binding of Isaac, it would give you a heart container, or a soul heart as Blue Baby, and then you would just have that soul heart. And if that is still the case, that is fantastic for us, because it's going to be a free health upgrade. And my health is quite precarious, to say the least. To put it mildly. Two super rads and two regular rads. This is kind of a crazy room. Luckily, we have amazing piercing tears and great range, and I'm just gonna shoot Tammy's head all over the place. See if we can kill some of these little rads, because... Just, just because. Because I need to kill something, and so let's kill anything at this point, but I think the little rads are gonna be easiest to deal with. Okay, both of the little rads are gone, so we have the two super rads. We have one Super Wrath. And we get two bombs. Ah. Oh man, and we have a double Super Greed room. Which sucks a lot. I probably should position myself a bit better in the center of the room when I use Tammy's head. Just like a good FYI going forward sort of thing. There's two of those, uh, like, hanged man, dead shopkeeper guys up at the top, which is weird, kind of scary. We got the quarter. Yeah, these guys. What are you doing up here, guys? Let's, uh, let's blow you up. Get a bunch of spiders. No big deal. Come on. We'll just poke our head in here. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Not of the cathedral. Cathedral's kind of scary. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. We'll maybe go back. Pestilence, not a challenge, because we don't have to worry about that green, poisonous acid puddle thing that he's leaving behind him. I can fly. Does not affect me. You, Mr. Beggar, are my best friend. Okay, a key, not exactly what I was after. Give me like a balls of steel pill or something, please. Or a tarot card. Or... I don't even know. Damage upgrade. Something. Give me something good. Yes, soul heart. Yes. Do like. Okay, bomb, not exactly the best item that you can give me. I have a lot of those. <laughs> Butterbean. Yeah, no, no thank you. That's actually not what I wanted at all. Oh, dang it. This room is kind of scary. Nothing that a little Tammy's head action can't solve for us, though. Oh, tons of tiny champion Gertie Juniors. Luckily, I can just cheese it by hiding on this rock where they can't hit me. And because of our tier splash damage, and the fact that they are going to keep trying to charge into me to hit me... I think this will be not terribly difficult. Alright, we're slowly but surely getting our health back, which is... Good. Let's start checking for the secret room. I totally forgot about that. And I guess there's two secret rooms, so we can check for both. I mean, I have 100 bombs, almost. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be using them all here.
backtrack or do we keep going forward? I think we should keep going forward, but we'll just check here. Yeah, let's keep going forward. We can backtrack and look for the secret room. After this, these things are terrifying. What are you? What the hell are you? I, I don't think I've ever seen these enemies before. I mean, I've generally seen the, like, floating psychic eye shooting things, but these are way creepier, and they have flies around them. Holy moly. Uh, we'll check for secret room. Yeah. No. That's the useless secret room. We'll go back this way and we'll check for secret room again. And I'm, I'll am i probably do the challenge there. Why not? I mean, there's lots of reasons why not. Like, the fact that <laughs> we're in the cathedral. And everything is terrifying in here. I don't actually know if I'm placing these bombs in the right spot. I'm really bad at judging the distance on these extra large rooms. We'll just check everywhere. Like I said, I have a way more bombs than I could ever hope to use on this floor. Three whole cents. Thanks, game. Oh, four whole cents. And a lucky toe. I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I was not expecting to unlock anything for blowing up one of those guys, but... You know, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't feel super confident about fighting Isaac. So let's hit this and hopefully get an upgrade, something that could even the odds a little bit, is what I was about to say. And then we got the Mask of Infamy, which will... I think occasionally have a chance to just completely negate damage that we take from the front. I think that's how it works. And since the Isaac fight is more or less the definition of bullet hell, there's a good chance we're going to be taking damage from the front. A lot. Like, pretty non-stop. Okay, we have Championship Chub. Very quick. To die. Very quick to die. That's... That, that is absolutely what I was gonna say. Okay, and then let's go fight Isaac. <laughs> hey, Isaac. Uh, we'll use our strength card here, too. Okay, alright. Form 2. Bit scarier. He can randomly do the uh, beams of light from heaven thing. It's okay, we fought Isaac a couple times before. Oh, dang it, took a hit there. It's Tammy's head, get some extra damage out. I mean, our damage output is great. It's just avoiding the hits that I'm worried about. Although this isn't so bad thus far. That was scary. Don't like it when Isaac teleports right next to me. Although I kind of do, because it just lets us get off a whole bunch of hits really easy. All right. I'm actually really surprised by how... Oh my gosh, and we got the D6 unlocked. That's like one of the best items. Okay, and we've seen this ending a half a dozen times by now. Very cool. Isaac now holds the D6. I think we only have one more piece of the picture here to unlock as well. That's exciting. I I forgot that Blue Baby gives the D6, or I didn't realize that. I don't know. I never actually got the D6 in the original game, in uh, Wrath of the Lamb or Vanilla or wherever it was introduced. Um, I, I have a general understanding of it. I have a general understanding of kind of the strategy behind using it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show off the D6 that we just unlocked because Isaac starts with it. It's his new spacebar item or activatable item. Yeah, and here we go. So we're just going to take a look real quick. I'm not going to do a full run. Um, so that would be the flaming tears. And we could we could pick that up and have the flaming tears and everything. Or I can use the D6 to reroll that item 
into something else. And, oh, look, it's poison bombs. Maybe that's, you know, that's that's good. And we could, we could take that and have poison bombs. Or we could go do things in six rooms and then come back and reroll it again. Great for making use of items like Anarchist Cookbook, where, you know, it's it's a kind of a crappy item. And why would I want that? Uh, reroll it into something better. So really awesome. That's actually going to really, really change the dynamic of doing Isaac runs going forward. Which is good, because we haven't beaten hard mode with Isaac yet. And I have tried many, many, many times. D6 should give us a much better shot at that. Very cool. So that's another hard mode victory against Isaac. Which is nuts. <laughs> I love that we've beaten Isaac on hard mode, what, three times now? One, two, three, and the mom's heart ones with Lazarus. And no hard mode Satan kills, even though I think Satan is an easier boss. That's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, anyway, I'm glad we finally had a victory. That's, that's a, such an awesome feeling. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Hopefully we get another victory.